Okay, this is a statement that we have over here, okay? And we also have another statement over here like this, okay? Now, pairing these two statements up, we are gonna form another definition or another statement of the first derivative of the binomial factor. And it goes, the reasoning goes like this. Now, it's, it's really my reasoning because if you read the textbook, they just immediately give you these two definitions and they just give you the result. Now, I'm going to try to really explain as, as vividly as I can how this goes. Now, the first derivative of b is, e is equal to this times this. So, if I were to draw this out, let's just say that, you know, I'm just going to draw three mutually perpendicular vectors out. Doesn't matter, bearing no relation to ijk or bearing no relation to the free net frame. I will draw it out as like this, okay? So, t is here. The first derivative of n is here, though I really do not know what the first derivative of n means. It doesn't matter. Okay, and the, and the first derivative of the binomial vector is here. Okay, so what does this mean? Okay, let's just put s in. What does this mean? This means I have three vectors that are mutually perpendicular, okay? And if I keep t, the unit tangent vector constant, in this direction, can you see that I can kind of take these two vectors and swivel them around? You get it? Now, I'm telling you this because at it seems, or at this point of time where at our stage in learning vector calculus, there is really no, how to say, no meaningful interpretation of these three vectors over here. I know, you can't tell me what, what, what do I get when I take the tangent, unit tangent and I cross it with the first derivative of the unit normal vector. It doesn't make sense. But it does not need to make sense because we are just looking at the geometrical representation of this, and like I said, it's this over here. So, the unit tangent vector, let's just keep it as one direction, meaning to say that this would be true as long as I swivel these two around and keep the, the mutually perpendicular 90 degrees all together, okay? So, you see, this, these two vectors, the, the first derivative of B and the first derivative of N, can kind of swivel around the unit tangent vector. I hope you understand that, okay? But that doesn't really make much sense, you know? We just got this frame here with these two vectors swiveling around. And we don't even know what the meaning of these two vectors are. But now, okay, let's just combine it with this equation over here. What do we know about this equation over here? It says that the first derivative of the binomial vector is perpendicular to the binomial vector itself. And then, what do we know about the binomial vector and the unit tangent vector over here. If I were to draw it in, in a picture, okay, it goes like that. T, and B over here, so T is over here, B is over here, and now here I got the unit normal vector, just as I have shown you previously, the free net frame. So, this is, this is to say that I swivel these two vectors around, okay, and then now I would just simply let this vector, okay, B, the binomial vector, okay? Now bear with me in, in a minute, you'll see why. So I got these two vectors that I can swivel around, okay? The first derivative of the binomial and the first derivative of the normal, but let's just say that now this vector is equal to the binomial vector where I know that the binomial vector and the, the unit tangent vector are perpendicular. So, and given this fact over here that the first derivative is perpendicular to this, that would mean that the you, the, binom the first derivative of the binomial vector is equal to a scalar of the unit normal vector, okay? Now, that is what I'm trying to explain to you. How we make sense of these two definitions to come up with this over here, okay? This means that the, these two, the, the first derivative of B and the first derivative of N swivels around here. But by letting this be the binomial vector and knowing that these two are mutually perpendicular, the unit, the first derivative of the binomial vector has to be a scalar multiple of the unit tangent vector. And then writing formally, we will write d b as binomial first derivative in terms of s is equals to negative torsion. Okay, and the normal vector over here like this. And this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's called torsion, okay? And it, it measures, measures amount of twisting, okay? 
torsion represented by the Greek letter, I believe it's similar to torque if you study physics, but that is what it means. Because from these two equations, we know that the first derivative of the binomial vector is, is in the same direction as the unit normal vector. And the, the scalar multiple, we represent that by the, the torsion or the torque in Greek. And it's from this that we will now somehow find a geometrical representation. Okay? But as it is at the moment, just understand how we arrive to this equation over here. That this is a scalar multiple of this, and we let the scalar multiple be torsion. Okay? The geometrical representation coming up very soon.